Hey, it's your friend Josie here with Affirmation Pod. This is where you get soothing affirmations for every season of life. Welcome to new listeners. Welcome back to returning listeners. I was talking with a listener this week who was asking what some of my self-compassion messages are that I give to myself, that I write down for myself. And one of them recently was, you can be at 65%. You don't always have to be at 100%. These reminders help me for when I'm being hard on myself and replacing that with self-compassion. What's a self-compassion message that would work for you today? If these don't come easy to you, it will be in a future episode of Affirmation Pod. But for today, I have an episode that's been a request from listeners who work in different industries, but in particular, the technology industry is the sector where I've heard from listeners the most. One listener shared with me the multiple layers of stress she's been going through because there have been layoffs in the company she works for, which means saying goodbye to cherished coworkers, plus an increased workload for herself, a fear of herself being laid off, and the feelings of guilt knowing she's still here while others are out there looking for jobs. And now let's take some soothing breaths, relaxing your body, giving yourself a hug. Here's affirmations during layoffs and survivor's guilt. When layoffs are looming, when layoffs are happening, so many emotions are brimming. Such a big mixed bag of emotions. Fear, relief, anger, guilt, sadness, so many different emotions surrounding layoffs. I breathe in and I breathe out. I continue breathing in and release. I create a space now to give my body time to react and respond to all that's going on. To feel and to express all that's inside. I name the emotions and I see what fear is saying I see what relief is saying. I hear out anger. I hear out guilt. And I hear out sadness. I listen to the voice and messages of other emotions that are here too. I listen to what grief wants to say. I listen to what hurt wants to say. I give myself space when I'm thinking of what I can do if I stay. And I give myself space to think through what I can do if I don't stay. I go to my sources of safety and release. I give myself a channel to process what I'm feeling. 
I am honest with how I'm feeling. I give myself time to adjust to new realities. I stick to my goals for myself and my future. I lean into my purpose. I stand as the authentic me. I look at the here and now, and I look at the bigger picture. I think through my decisions as I accept what I cannot control and look at what I can control. I give myself the space to express myself, to release how I'm feeling, and to make the decisions for myself and my future. Times like these can be really unsettling. That is why I mentioned self-compassion at the beginning of this episode. I know it's hard, but treating yourself with the same empathy and understanding that you would give to a dear friend or loved one, even writing it down as a letter, can really help. So can reaching out for support from trusted family and friends or fellow survivors. If you're looking for this episode and all episodes of Affirmation Pod with no ads and no announcements, That's available for premium access members. Premium access members get all the episodes of Affirmation Pod with no ads and no announcements, plus bonus episodes that you won't hear on this podcast. Some popular bonus episodes are I Befriend Me, Affirmations for Boundaries, I'm Doing What Makes Me Happy, as well as Following Through with My Goals. Find out more or to join today by going to affirmationpod.com slash join. That's affirmationpod.com slash join. Hey, it's Josie here. Thanks for listening today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to play another episode right now.